In case you have a auto lock hub failure, you can fully engage this auto locking hub manually even though if it's already defective as long as this thing here is still good and intact also this thing here is good and also this thing here is good and this thing here also is good. This is how you will manually force lock your auto locking hub if it's already broken because of the parts, other parts here that are already broken and will not fully engage anymore the locking mechanism inside. So sometimes this is already broken due to wear and you just need to remove this circle up here. You will now not use it. Also this one here. You will now not use it. Also, you will remove this ring here. You will now not use it. And remove this part here. And dismantle this assembly here. You just need the gear. So, from this assembly, this is the only thing that you need. And this spring here, you will also use this. And also this center part here so you don't need to remove this anymore you don't need to remove the circ clip of the center part so to force lock this and all you have to do is insert this thing here with the gear side downwards drop it then rotate it there you go as you will see it's already in its fully locked position then you insert the spring here the purpose of the spring will be to prevent the disengagement of the locking mechanism while you're using your four-wheel drive as you will see it's locked of course if you will manually force lock this auto locking hub is you will need to remove the six bolts here and remove this assembly out and just do the procedure what I told you here and if you want to disengage again the lock hub, you will remove again the six bolts here and what you'll do is just remove the assembly here, the spring, and the center gear here. This is the one that locks the inner and the outer gears. So to disengage, spring first and install this again still with the gear side pointing inwards. Just like that. So as you will see, it's not locked anymore. Or you can fully remove all the inside parts here. Just leave this part here because the axle needs this to center the axle. So it's either you install this back here or you just keep this in your glove compartment and just reinstall this if you want to activate your four-wheel drive. This thing is the one that usually gets worn. Also this one, this plastic part here. The running hub is so contaminated with water and it's already so corroded and contaminated with dirt. And this will abrade here. This will wear and also this one will wear. So the four wheel drive will not activate anymore also the spring here if it's too corroded it will break into many pieces also this one but this part here will not easily deteriorate because it's a thick metal if the bearing is broken you'll just need to buy a new bearing which is a generic part uh, you can just buy it in bearing centers also this one here will not easily deteriorate because it's a thick metal 
the main components to force lock force activate the four-wheel drive you can still use it you don't, you don't need to buy a brand new unit if you don't have enough money and if it's not too inconvenient for you to just remove the six bolts every time you activate the four-wheel drive so these are easily worn parts also this one and also this one these are usually the parts that fail because of deterioration always because of contamination of water and dirt that will lead to the failure of these components and then will eventually fail the operation of this auto lock hub.